Hello, this is Mark Stolzenberg, the owner and director of the New York Acting School for Film and Television and the CEO of Circle of Life Films in New York City. And I'm continuing my series called Fascinating Actors. And with me today, I have John Strong, who is indeed one of the most fascinating actors I've ever met. Um, and uh, he's an advanced student of mine at my school. And uh, why don't we uh, say hello to everybody, John? Say hello. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing great because I am doing great, strong, happy. <laughs> so, John, um, tell us about your background. Like, like, what was your life like before you started acting? Where are you coming from? So, uh, originally, I'm coming from Central Asian country, Tajikistan, and uh, I came to New York in 2009, and my journey started as an like any immigrant that comes to America, United States. I've been through all the jobs, everything. I met a lot of people working, 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 hustling, hustling every day to, to, till, until today I'm still working hard because that's the only way, you know, to be able to manage through the life, basically. You have to work hard. And uh, uh, yeah, so I did pretty much every job and uh, uh, this was my life, just working, 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 yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I became a personal trainer, a massage therapist, licensed massage therapist. Um, I worked in different, like, locations. Uh, I worked with different people, celebrities, uh, very rich people, very poor people, because I don't, I don't divide people. For me, <laughs> if you're on my table or my massage chair, everyone is the same, because we made of bones and muscles inside even though we different outside but inside we're all the same we're getting hurt the same we're getting hungry the same if you have injury everyone feeling the pain the same way so that's why i don't divide people and uh yeah uh that was my background basically great well fasc fascinating that's terrific so um what made you get into acting somewhere along the lines you decided you wanted to try acting or start exploring it? Uh, what, what, made, what happened there? Yes, um, I have many reasons, but the main reasons are I needed a hobby <laughs> because uh, living in New York, you have to, you know, besides work, you have to do something else to, you know, help your body and mind just to release some energy and, uh, I found out that acting was a was a good you know option for me, and also my father, uh, rest in peace. He passed away a couple of years ago from COVID back in my home country. Uh, he was a movie director, documentary movie director, and uh, uh, back in my home country. So it was also one of the reasons why I decided to go into acting because just. Uh, to commemorate his name, to honor his name, to put some, you know, respect. So his grandkids, his kids, his family knows that, you know, his legacy still continues. Uh, one of the main reasons also why I went into acting because I just wanted to, you know, do this for him. And I'm doing this with him because I, it might sound crazy, but I felt tremendous energy and support from up, up above i don't know universe god my father as an angel looking and helping me and uh yeah so this you know main two reasons because uh and i i i was fascinated from from day one at, at, in school and uh, mm -hmm. yeah one of you know main reasons is just having a good decent hobby and also to, just to you know honor my father's name okay Wow, that's great. Really nice. Um, so I, I have to tell you, uh, John is one of my uh, advanced students. He's not been studying with me that long. How long? Nine months or so? Since April 2022. So yeah. today is 2023. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost so a year. To, I have to tell you that if you've ever heard the expression, hit the ground running, this gentleman hit the ground sprinting. He just came into my class the first day and he was so highly motivated. It was astounding. And he just started 
learning so quickly and eating up every word I would say in class. And he quickly escalated into an advanced actor from somebody who didn't know what the hell he was doing. And uh, now he's on a professional level. He's doing auditions for TV and film, uh, and he's doing great work in class. Uh, very impressive. And if you look at it, he's six foot one, he's gorgeous. So if you need an actor, uh, we're going to provide his information. Um, so uh, tell me about your experience at the school, uh, like in your in your journey as an actor, a student. Yes, uh, as I said earlier, from my first class, day one, <laughs> uh, as I did my first anger line. So everybody who's coming to the class, uh, you're gonna get anger lines. So make sure you let it out, go crazy. And when I did those anger lines, the first thing uh, you gave me, and I felt uh, such a release and relief, all the emotions and everything. I felt so good after just, you know, it seems like it's just two lines, just, you know, angry lines, show an the anger. And I, I just, I felt so good after it. And I was like, oh, wow, you can say whatever you want to say and not get in trouble. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> so it felt really uh, heartwarming because you're able to express yourself and just let up a lot of, you know, energy that is in you and, uh, yeah, just like, you know, it felt like a therapy for me and I fell in love with it and I just decided to, yeah, I have to do this because it helps me to do my everyday job that I'm doing and it helps me through the life. Now I'm more confident in myself. I can talk to people. I'm not scared. I'm not shy anymore. I'm more uh, I'm more positive and happy now because, and I, I tell all the people, I'm not an actor. I'm just a happy person. That's basically <laughs> how I live now because yeah. And uh, it just generally helps in your everyday life routine just because, and also uh, you start understanding your own self better, your body, your mind, how, how it's working, you finding out so much great things about you that you didn't know until, you know, you sit behind the camera and you start just going into the zone, getting into the character. And it's like, it feels fascinating. And then you come out of the movie and you're like, oh, wow. You start understanding why a lot of actors doing this until they die because until <laughs> the last day on the earth, because this is this is a phenomenal experience and uh, I truly tell everybody who I see that you should try it. It's not going to hurt you. If you love it, then it's good. If not, then you know that it's not for you and you know, but it, it, it's worth a shot. Definitely, especially in this crazy day and age, what happens? Uh, we need some kind of, you know, a positive hobby and uh, meeting new people that on the same page, they have the same energy. It's, it feels amazing. You just, I, now I have so many friends, including Mark and, uh, and so many students we connected. Uh, yes. It's, you know, it just built up another just community. That's it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you kind of answered my next question, which was uh, what was what your favorite thing about acting, which I kind of got, I think. So I won't ask you that question, <laughs> but is there anything that really was, uh, what was the worst thing you've experienced as an actor? What? what? Well, uh, at this point, uh, I can't say that I, I experienced something really bad <laughs> as an actor, because since I'm mm. still in the beginning uh, of, uh, in this journey and, but you know, one of the, uncomfortable moments was when you're spending like 12 hours on a set and, and sometimes you don't get paid. So that was, yeah, uh, I did a couple of jobs and it was like, oh, wow, that's that's a lot, you know. Uh, I don't mind it, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, it, you know, to be at a certain place for 12 hours and then just you, you're getting tired. It's physical, you know, emotional. And then on top of that, you're not getting paid. Uh, not every production is honest, you know, and uh, this is the real world. But again, what helps is 
when you love what you're doing, it doesn't matter. You can do it for free. You can do it for money. It doesn't because it's in you and you just keep going, keep going, keep uh -huh. going. So love is the answer. Mm. Well, I have to insert that John is sort of on the crest, a transitional point in his career. Where I think pretty soon he's going to become totally a perfect right now. He's got an advanced student and he's starting to reach out into the real world and work, get jobs. And so he's transitioning from being a student to being a totally professional actor, which uh, should come pretty quick and fast. Yeah. Um, is there any uh, particular parts you played that you really, what was one of your favorite roles to play that you've been working on so far? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, uh, we did a movie with Circle of Life and I had a very phenomenal part that was re really uh, kind of mirroring my, my my current situation and just, just the, everything that I think about acting. I was playing uh, an actor who has this problem. He has this disorder. He thinks that he's in, on a movie set 24 seven, even in the real life. And I really like that part because sometimes I think that I'm in a movie all the time, especially when with all this technology, you're filming yourself, you're being filmed without knowing about it, <laughs> all the cameras, you know, that's why you have to think always before what you're doing something or if you're saying something this, you know, in this modern age. And uh, yeah. I was playing this this neurotic actor that thinks he's on a film set and uh, hopefully uh, everybody will like the movie because we had a tremendous cast uh, and can't wait to see it. So yeah, one of the main roles uh, I had, it was this neurotic actor that thinks that he's in yeah. the movie all and uh, he's trying to uh, find an answer and you know escape this problem. Yeah, the, the movie is called Princess Morella, and it's I, I wrote and directed it, and um, it's about a, a young fourteen-year-old who ha, ha, is a healer, and all these crazy people come to her to be to be healed. And John John's character was one of them. Yeah, and you were great. You were fantastic. Um, so, one more question, right? which is, what are your plans for the future? How do you see moving forward? What, what do you hope to do and where do you hope to go and what are your plans, etc. So my hopes, my future, just to keep doing what I'm doing because I, I fell in love with acting no matter what because I'm not chasing, you know, money and trying to, you know, that that's the good thing about my situation that I don't have that pressure on me. So thankfully, you know, uh, more or less I'm established so and I just do this for fun I love this that's why I have no stress on me that's why I enjoy it more because I don't have to worry about oh my god I'm gonna pay my bill all, all this stuff you know <laughs> because yeah it, it, it's really tough and uh, yeah it, it's a rough spot to be if you just begin an actor and you're just starting and like yeah it's it's because i i met a lot of actors i i i heard their stories and it's <laughs> it's it's amazing how people just you know uh yeah they just decided to chose this and they just going with it and i'm like oh wow this is this is amazing that and thankfully for me, I don't have that pressure and I, I'm really enjoying it. You can see my post on Instagram. I have my YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to just little by little just what, becoming what your, my own director. What's your handle there on Instagram? Yes, my Instagram is John Strong Actor. It's easy. John Strong. It's J-O-N Strong. As Strong. John <laughs> Strong Actor. And oh, great. Yes, you can see all my videos, all my posts, my demos. And I'm slowly kind of getting into editing stuff and directing because all the posts that I'm doing, I'm directing them myself. <laughs> um, I'm doing the editing, I'm editing music, all those stuff. It, and it's it's amazing. It, it Of course, it's time consuming. But again, when you love what you're doing, it's not a problem. When you're hating it, that's completely different conversation. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, John. So they can contact you on your Instagram site. Do you have an email or something like that? Yes. Uh, on my Instagram page, you can find my uh, website. I have a website, johnstrongactor.com. You, you can find my resume, my demos, my all my information, email, phone, everything. You can call me, text me. Text is the best way to reach me because if I'm working or doing something, I'm not able to pick up the phone. So text is the best way to communicate. That's great. And if you'd like, and if you're interested in classes at the New York Acting School for Film and Television, we our website is www.actingclassactingclass. Forfilm.com. That's F O R film.com. Acting class for film.com. Thanks a lot, John. It's great talking to you and what a pleasure. Thank Good you. Good luck very with much. everything. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Same to you. Stay safe. Bye bye.